All American is a new CW drama series following a rising high schooler who has a difficult choice to make when it comes to making a big move for his football career. Inspired by the life of former NFL player Spencer Pacinger, he joins us this morning to tell us more about his show. Good morning, Spencer. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for chatting with us this morning. First off, congratulations. What does it mean to you that uh, <laughs> your life has now become a show? Uh, you know, it means the world to me right now. You know, I retired from football, you know, 10 months ago. And the fact that I'm here sitting here talking to you about, you know, this great show mm -hmm. is I'm still trying to understand it. It's, it's been a blessing. So how did it come to be? I mean, was it, was it your idea? Did you pitch it to someone? Or was it someone else that came to you and said, hey, you've had a really interesting background. We'd love to highlight that. <laughs> Yeah, so it was something I did at birth through a conversation. A uh, good friend of mine, or now good friend of mine, uh, the first time we ever met, we realized that we played at rival high schools in Los Angeles. And after got done talking, you know, of games that we potentially played against each other in, he asked me how was it growing up in Beverly Hills. And I just corrected him and saying, you know, I actually grew up in South Central. I commuted every day. Uh, he had a few good friends in the industry. And, you know, one conversation led to another, which led to a coffee. And here we are now. Hmm. And it really is wonderful. I mean, and the show itself has such a great storyline. Like you said, that your character in the show, he has kind of a rough upbringing, but he's a star football player, gets recruited to play in Beverly Hills. How much of that of your life is, is actually happening in the show? And is it weird for you to watch it? <laughs> well, yes, it is weird, but I'm at the point now where I can look at Spencer James separately from Spencer Pacinger. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when it comes to, you know, what's true and what's not within the show, I gave the writers creative liberty to, to make a compelling story, but in doing that, I gave them a treasure trove of memories of, you know, people and friends that I've dealt with in the past that I went to high school with. So, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to the bones of the story, a lot of the stories within the show that you guys will see are true. And we've seen a lot of successful football shows and movies in the past. Clearly, this is something that works. People love it. You're two episodes into your season now. What can we expect going further? Uh, you're just, you know... Every character on this show is going to go through a journey of trying to figure out where they fit in this world. It's, it's not just Spencer. You know, obviously he's the, you know, he's driving the show and, you're, and you come to see what happens to him weekly. But, you know, the more you watch, you see that all the characters within the show, whether it be in South Central or Beverly Hills, they're just trying to figure out where they are in this world. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a premise that resonates with so many people. I mean, no matter your age, I'm sure you find yourself at that fork in the road sometimes going, I, you know, I, I got to figure this out. I'm not sure what's right for me. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, like I said, each character, Spencer as well, you know, it's a story of an outsider. It's a story mm -hmm. of, you know, we all, we've all been there before where we're just trying to understand where we fit in. We're going into a new experience. We don't know what to expect and just trying to make the most of a, of a great opportunity. Well, you definitely made the most out of a good opportunity, Spencer. Best of luck <laughs> with this show. It, it sounds great. It looks great. And congratulations again. Catch episode three of season one tomorrow night starting at nine over on our sister station, the CW Providence.